classes in. Aloha, my friends. Welcome to MCK 101. My name's Don, and in this classroom, I show you the kitchen basics that are gonna elevate your home cooking game. Today's lesson, chicken. The whole chicken, and nothing but the chicken. I'm gonna show you how to butcher an entire chicken down into breasts, legs, thighs, wings. You're even gonna have a carcass that you can make your own stock with. Why would you wanna do this? Simple kitchen economics. The whole chicken cost me $1.99 a pound. The breast of the same brand are $6.99 a pound. The tender, which is just a little itty bitty part of the inside of the breast there, $7.99 a pound. So why wouldn't you want to do this? Be sure to hit like and click subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. Also, be sure to stay until the end of today's lesson for all you scholars out there, yeah. I'm gonna show you a simple way to make the chicken ready for the grill in just seconds. So let's work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. Hey, all right, let's give a hand to Rod, our camera guy. You're number one in our hearts, Rod. Back to today's lesson, the chicken. Take yourself just a little knife like this one, nothing special. There's a breastbone right here. It separates the two breasts. They're kind of in U-shaped pockets, each on their own. So you're just gonna make a little incision just to find that breastbone right here. Once you find that breastbone, you're just gonna stay right on the side of that bone, just like this. And you're gonna take the tip of that knife and you're gonna put it into the bone, just like that. And you're gonna slowly slice away, just like this. keeping the knife pressed up against the bone. There's the first breast right off the carcass. This little guy right here, that's your $7.99 a pound chicken tender. So if you'd like, cut that right out. Chicken tender, breast, done. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side now. Find that breast bone, stay on the inside of it, and just slowly Take that breast right off the carcass. You wanna get as close to everything as you can so that you take as much meat off as possible. Again, we've got our chicken tender right here. Two tenders two breasts. What's next? Let's move on to a leg. That's probably a better view this way. You're gonna find the joint in between here. Just hold the back of it, push. There's the bone. Follow along and just cut that right out. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side now. Hold that, push, there it goes. Cut that right out, just above that bone, just in that joint. Each one of these, this is a chicken quarter. We have the drumstick here and you have the thigh here. You can see it from the other side as well, right there. So right in that joint, right where it moves, you can feel it. You're just going to want to put your knife tip right in there. 
slicing down until you separate the drumstick from the thigh. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other one now. You're gonna find that joint right there. It moves, it's easy to find. It wiggles around and moves. This is a chicken, don't be shy. And you're just gonna get right in between there and slice right down. Now we've got drumsticks and we've got thighs. What's left? The wing. Again, you're gonna find where it moves. It attaches right there to the body. So you're just gonna get right in there and cut that right off, right at that joint. You can clean this up a little bit by breaking this here and cutting that tip off. Don't throw that away, that's gonna go in the stock pot. There's your whole chicken wing. You can separate it again if you'd like right here. I prefer not to, I like the whole chicken wing myself. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Find right where it attaches to the body. Cut that off. Find where that attaches. Snap it back a little bit. Cut that off. Stock pot, wings. There's one chicken carcass for the stock pot. We've got two tenders here, two breasts here. We've got the drumsticks here, thighs, and two wings. Hey, hey, you guys deserve a huge pat on the back. That was awesome. You just took down an entire chicken into all of its little parts. Now, stay tuned, just like I promised. Here is the fastest way to butcher an entire chicken so that you can get it ready for dinner. All right, look at all you scholars staying until the end of the video to learn the cool quick grilling technique. Well, what is the cool quick grilling technique? This cool quick grilling technique actually has a term and that term, I kid you not, is spatchcock. Yeah, say it with me, spatchcock. I'm going to abuse that as much as I can for this little demonstration. Spatchcock, what is spatchcock? Where did spatchcock come from? Well, the internet has some mixed opinions, but the one that I like the best is spatchcock came in the 18th century in Ireland. They needed a term for dispatching the cock that was quicker. Apparently that wasn't quick enough to describe their dinner. So they abbreviated it to spatchcock. So thank you, Ireland. Yet again, spatchcock. How does one spatchcock a cock? Well, simple. Lift her up. She's got a little backbone running right here, just like all of them. You're gonna cut on either side of this backbone using a strong knife that you don't really care too much about. Now, whenever you're cutting through bone like we're going to here, because we're going to be cutting through some small bones on either side of this, you just wanna use caution. It's never as safe as not cutting through bone. So, take your knife and just follow along this side of the backbone using good, strong strokes. all the way through. Same thing on the other side. Save that for your stock pot. This is the underside of the breastbone, the one that came up to a point when we were cutting the breasts out. Now we're just gonna put a little slice, just like that, right into it. Set the knife down, push, and it just breaks that breastbone. And now this chicken is ready for the grill. And class is over for today, everyone. You all get A's. Yeah, even you. I know, I know, even you. 
Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram to find out what's cooking next. Thank you all for joining me today on the wicka 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 chicken breakdown. Many mahalos and much aloha.